Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper here. This is um, hopefully a quick tutorial. Um, it's going to be a lot of me yapping to begin with. So uh, let's just get this out of the way. This is going to be on how I went about syncing up the audio for the Ghost uh, teaser trailer, Call of Duty Ghost teaser trailer. I redid the audio for it just real quick because I wanted to see how I might in my future projects sync the audio with cuts um, that I make inside of After Effects or Final Cut or whatever program you're using. Um, what I did was downloaded the Ghost trailer from YouTube and then I imported it into After Effects and found out that the frame rate was 23.976 frames per second and uh, I wanted to make a track around 70 BPMs and I wanted to sync the track with the audio. So what I did was multiply 23.976 which was the original frame rate, I multiplied that by 3, which gave me 71.928. And uh, as you can see inside of Ableton Live here, I can get down to the two decimal points. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this 8 and round this up to 3, so 71.93. And that is my project BPM. And now when I make my project inside of Ableton, um, and import that music into uh, After Effects or Premiere Pro or whatever you're going to do, um, it's going to sync perfectly. Now, um, I want it to sync perfectly, so what I did to begin with was I made a kind of guide track because once you get a lot of strings and music and percussion and everything going on, uh, the audio spectrum, the picture of the audio doesn't look that nice. So what I did was made a guide audio track that I did all of my edits and After Effects for and this is what this video is going to show you how to do. The next video will show you how to um, use the audio, this uh, audio guide inside After Effects. So I apologize for all that explaining but let's just get into the uh, tutorial now. I'm only going to make a bar length so I'm just, I've got an audio track here and I'm just going to turn on the uh, loop here for a bar and I've just got some percussion hits. It doesn't matter what they are, it's more about the visual. I'm not actually going to be listening to this inside of After Effects. So those are the three I'm going to use. Now the first hit I want it to be this bassy kind of hit because it, it, it just looks big, okay? So I'm going to pull it in like that and uh, I'm going to take the fade and just kind of cut it off here at the end. Just so again for the visual. In this one, I'm going to put on the quarter notes. And I'm going to pull this over like this. And again, I'm going to fade it over just so I can see visually. And then I'm going to use this little, the smaller one here on the eighth notes. And I'm actually going to pull these fades over really far. And just because I just want that tick, 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 tick. Okay. Cool. And um, I'm also going to come in and kind of bring the volume down a little bit. Okay. So that looks pretty sweet. And then what I'm going to do is, like I said, these are in eighth notes. So I'm just going to duplicate that three times. And now I can just take this and actually duplicate that twice. And then just take these three and drag and hold down control to duplicate and put that here. And now if I play this, this is what we have. And as you can see, we're halfway to making a great dubstep track. You know what I'm saying? Um, the next thing I'd want to do is uh, export this mono. So I'm just going to highlight this here and export and I'm going to turn on convert to mono, make sure this is on, and render as a loop so when I import it back into Ableton, I can loop it really simply. Just hit OK. Uh, we'll call it guide track. And we want to just say 71.93 BPM, just so we can keep track of it. Boom, that happened really fast. And then I want to come into the desktop and find the guide track. Here it is. And pull it in. And boom. Now, I don't even need to listen to it. I just want to look to see 
while I have Ableton open to see if the visual is the way it is. And it, it looks great. This is exactly what I need. Um, when I zoom in in After Effects and I can see the waveform, I'll be able to tell that this is every bar. This happens, uh, eighth notes, quarter notes. And uh, that way I can sync the track. But as you can see, I might have been able to do that a little bit better by uh, coming into this and moving this over. And, you know, I'm just trying to do it quickly. So uh, if we wanted to redo it now, I probably should. I apologize. Get rid of this. And just uh, one more time. Export. Yes, yes. Boom. Overwrite it. Boom. Bring it in. Zoom in. And now it's perfectly lined up. So uh, that looks great. And I know that the clip the uh, guy isn't more than two minutes. So what I'm going to do is just pull this loop over. And I'm going to use my time frame down here just over to two. Um, then I'm going to use this just to kind of highlight it and export that. Uh, convert to mono, render as a loop is fine. I'm going to just use audio two here so I don't get this doubled up right now. And uh, go ahead and do that. And just put e -E AE for After Effects, export it. And uh, the next tutorial, I'm going to bring that into After effects and show you how to go about using that to sync up your visual with the audio before we even start making the music. But anyway, we'll see you next time. Peace.